Um, why is it things that are the way it is right now? Yeah, let's do this. Each time I make a memory, then I try to make it with you. Hey, besties, and welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, I put up a poll or question thingy on Instagram and asked you guys to send me a couple of questions so that we can do a Q&A because to be honest, it feels so strange and so weird to be vlogging and baby surprise is not home yet. It just feels like there's a big part of us that's missing. And I know it probably doesn't make any sense to anybody right now. I tried vlogging, there's a few clips here and there and it just, it didn't flow. It didn't feel natural. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do a Q&A instead. What are you doing? That would be a peanut. What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? What? What in the name happened to his face? He's like alien. Yeah. What happened to your face? What happened to your face, Webby? Is that tea? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right into this video because Peanut just joined me and we all know when he's here it gets mega chaotic just like right now. First question that I want to address that majority of the people actually were asking is how am I doing? To be quite honest I feel stuck between two places. I'm stuck between not being pregnant and being very happy about it but also being very sad that the baby's not home. I've talked about this publicly that I do not enjoy being pregnant and uh, I'm very happy. I feel so much like myself. I feel so much me since I'm not pregnant since baby was born but also i'm so torn and so broken that baby's still in hospital it's just honestly one of the most strangest most heartbreaking things i've ever had to go through and i'm trying to be strong throughout the whole thing because i got to a point where i was like i can either sit here and cry about this every single day but have no control over the situation or i can just decide to look on the bright side and do what i can with what i'm allowed to do and so i'm just maximizing all the times that we get to go see baby and i am pumping so i'm doing anything and everything I can to make sure that we are not only ready for baby when baby comes home but also that I am in a good space as well I'm healing beautifully which has been great my gynae is very very impressed especially because this was the third c-section she does pride herself in her work which I love I love listening to that woman talk about how much she loves her work it's incredible she's very happy with how I'm healing I'm very happy with how I'm healing it's almost three weeks now and uh, I don't have to take painkillers anymore I am able to move around I am fitting into my pre-pregnancy jeans which has been crazy i'm not really doing anything to be honest don't come at me and ask me what i'm doing i'm not doing anything besides just pumping a whole lot of milk for this little dumpling but yeah that's how i'm doing i decided to just let go of things i can't control and let the people that can't control do the controlling as in like the nurses the pediatrician the hospital i'm giving them enough power to do what they need to do for the little one and i'm doing what i can with what i can control and i feel like since i decided on that i have felt so much better i have cried a whole lot less and uh, I've just been in a much better space emotionally and physically as well the second most asked question or maybe even the first compared to my one is how is baby doing baby surprise is doing fantastic you guys I cannot thank you enough for your prayers for everything that you have done for a family all the dms all the messages every single thing that you have done all the comments guys i read every single one of your comments i really appreciate your support hearing you guys share your stories with me sending me those dms and telling me your story and what happened with your little ones it gave me so much comfort and so much peace of mind you have no idea what that did for me and i really truly appreciate that baby is doing great i am again taking it one day at a time i'm not trying to fill up my hopes too high only for them to be different and I get mega disappointed but I'm also really hoping that our little less dumpling will be home real soon the third asked question was when am I gonna do the gender reveal as well as the name reveal at first I thought I was gonna do it like right away so that it doesn't get awkward because honestly referring to baby surprise as baby surprise or baby or this or that drives me mental sometimes especially because now I know the gender it was so much easier before I knew because I didn't know but now I know and it, it makes it really really hard a few people comment in the vlogs saying that i said a she something i said a he honestly guys try and listen back i was either talking about peanut or was talking about k -Bear. and i'm actually pretty darn surprised by myself that i haven't like said anything about baby surprises gender because i thought it was going to be like so easy to just slip it out but i think because i was so used to calling the baby baby surprise because i didn't know the gender it just stuck with me anyway back to the question it feels mega strange to try and do the gender 
reveal and the name reveal when the baby's still in hospital actually i honestly really feel torn by this i want to share it because i don't want to stop myself out of fear because i have this massive fear that i never really talk about that what if baby surprise never comes out of hospital like what if something bad happens and i pray about it and i really hope nothing bad happens and so that for me is my biggest obstacle like i don't really want to say something and then things just go sideways but on the other hand i'm like even if things were to go sideways it would be so much more precious and so much more meaningful and it would, i would want to hold on to those videos if i did say something while baby was still in the hospital so i'm really honestly torn at this point plus i don't even know how i'm gonna do the reveal <laughs> to be quite honest but i am gonna try i really need to try i think there's a few people that know the name because i did put up a boomerang on instagram and people freeze these things and people read stuff i'm like what somebody commented saying the baby's first initial and i'm just like wait what you guys are so extra i love it though i love it for as long as you don't say anything because it is not your place to say anything but i love that you guys are so nosy those are the top four questions sino makeba writes hi bestie if i'm not mistaken you are graduating this year are you still considering going to the grad yes girl i am graduating this year however i am not going actually i wasn't gonna go at all because they moved our graduation date from december to march and um, because baby surprise was due in april i was already never gonna make it no airplane was gonna let me fly at that point in the pregnancy so i had made peace with the fact that i wasn't going and then baby surprise came earlier and i was like oh wait can i actually go however the graduation ceremony got cancelled i missed covid19 the coronavirus they're just gonna ship the certificates and stuff i'm totally okay with that all i need is my honestly i wanted to walk on the stage let me not lie but i'm happy to get my certificate and just call it a day so i probably will have to go do my master's so that i can walk on the stage Basi underscore Manella writes, how do you find the balance of being a wife, mommy of three, and full-time employee? Right now, I don't have to worry about being a full-time employee because homegirl is on maternity leave, which is amazing. I don't really have any balance. I take every single day as it comes. Some days are great. Some days are complete fail. Some days I am super a mom. Some days I am terrible at parenting. Some days I yell. Some days I don't. Some days we are just screaming and shouting at each other. And some days it's hugs and kisses everywhere. I really wish there was the way i could show you guys every single day so you can see this but we all know that's basically impossible i don't necessarily try and like plan ahead because i feel like that just makes everybody tense because then i can't relate into the kids because i'm too worried about the things i have to get to and the kids are also terrified of me because i'm yelling all the time so honestly it's just a matter of taking it one day at a time being a parent is hard ask work and it doesn't matter whether you're a single parent or you're in a relationship it's hard being a parent and if you're able to not only feed your kids but have big smiles on their faces i can tell you right now that you are doing an amazing job kids don't need parents who take everything off their to-do list kids just need present parents and that for me is what i try to do nels babies writes do you charge for promotions if yes what are your rates see this is the question that i always avoid answering because people always raise their eyebrows when i say this my truth is that when i started my youtube channel i did not start it to make money i genuinely enjoyed filming videos i loved the process of editing and so i figured i might as well just put them online because where else am i gonna put them i can't be buying hard drives month after month to keep all these things the simple answer to this question is yes i do charge to do promotions but the technical answer to that is i don't always charge to do promotions if a brand approaches me with a lot of requirements like if they want a youtube video they want this and that on instagram and this and that on facebook then i am charging them because to be honest i am a mom i'm a parent i don't have time to just sit around and do these things for the brand without being compensated for it if you want me to do all this work for you then i will charge you however if a brand approaches me and says we're gonna send you this product can you please do a review on it if you want or post on instagram stories about it then sure i'll do it but more than half the time i always say no to promotions because first of all brands can be ridiculously demanding they will tell you we want this we want it this way we want it on this date at this time and the list just keeps going on in my mind i'm always thinking whoa, 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 whoa 
you do realize that you are talking to an actual human being who will have to try out your product first who will have to be honest with this and who also happens to have a life i mean i'm grateful that i make money off of it but i didn't start it to make money when it comes to my rates it depends on the work they're looking for videos tend to be more expensive purely because it takes too much time and the editing and all of that fun stuff so it, it's all in how much effort is required to do the work. Kwasin Gosi writes, I love you, your energy, and the way you pay so much attention to your babies no matter what you're doing. Aw, thank you so much. I try by all means to be a present parent. Oh, Chuela writes, I hope I'm pronouncing your names right, you guys. Writes, hi, mommy. What do you recommend for baby weight gain? Honestly, I would absolutely advise you to check with the baby's pediatrician however kids weight fluctuates sometimes they gain and then they lose a bit of weight peanut used to be so chunky he's lost quite a bit of weight right now especially when he started walking so you might want to check with the pediatrician just to make sure that everything is on track and it's nothing to worry about they will have the blessed one right which camera is good for a youtube channel your phone camera is good enough especially if you're starting out i feel like the biggest mistake that people make is investing in equipment when you haven't tried out the thing yet if you're really enjoying it, then you can start investing on cameras i personally like the camon g7x mark ii portable it's simple to carry around it has got a flip up screen so you can see what you're doing they also have a g7x mark iii which is an upgrade of the mark ii so yeah that's what i would recommend just start with your phone and then if you really like doing the videos then invest our way I, th I hope i'm pronouncing that right it says hey bestie ever thought about being a housewife yes girl <laughs> i've thought about that i think we if i even have ki had kids i used to say i'm gonna be a housewife i'm gonna pop all these children i'm gonna homeschool the heck out of them and we're gonna be just amazing and fabulous and then i went on maternity leave with kate whistle bunny it was very quick because we got like three months at the company I used to work for um and so maternity leave went by really fast and then with peanut maternity leave was six months and i had additional leave on top of that so i was home for a while and that's when i realized i'm not cut out to be a stay-at-home mom at all it made me realize that working for me like with getting up in the morning to go to work is not just a thing that i do because i need to pay bills it's a thing that i do because it, it makes me who i am and so i knew it right then then like i'm not proud to be a stay-at-home mom i love my children i would give anything for my children they are home with us right now because COVID 19 is just like uh-uh nobody go anyway and so we're happy however when all of this is over i'm shipping them right back to school i can't be a home a housewife at all and i also really love having my own money so yeah mommy silly writes do you use lennon products on your kids no i don't i did buy them when i was pregnant for kids money i was using them in her bath water like the harlemensis i think it's called and the hrun amara and there was another one that i don't remember i used them purely because for me that's what i associated having a newborn baby with because when i was growing up my mom used to use those things on my baby brothers and so for me a newborn baby i associated with that smell like just walking into the house and smelling all of that made me feel like oh my gosh there's a baby in here when peanut was born i was like no these products are clearly written do not use on babies and i'm not using them with baby surprise either i'm really running out of light so i need to hurry this along Charmaine rams right hey mommy when do you introduce solids i think introducing solids all depends on your baby when the baby is ready just go ahead and do it some pediatricians recommend that you do it exactly at six months others will tell you do it when the baby is ready and i'm for when the baby is ready because honestly you can't starve the kid just because you want to wait for six months when kids are ready they're ready i wouldn't recommend giving babies younger than three months any uh, solids because that wouldn't that i don't imagine that would be good for their little tummies okay i'm gonna try put on the light because this is this is really working on my nerves floss kinky coils right is peanut ever gonna use his own name even forgot was it refilu <laughs> That's so funny. No, his name is actually Rilebukhili. It's funny because online, that's where he's known as Peanut. At home, to be honest, we use his real name. More than half the time, like probably 90% of the time, we call him with his real name. Hey, Leo. Hi, Leo, Bobby. Hi, Leo. La. La. Where's baby? Where's baby? There. <laughs> there. Lenravo <laughs> underscore happy writes how are you able to express so much milk what do you do hashtag help i drink plenty of water especially because i'm not necessarily like breastfeeding i'm not a big tea drinker so i will drink like maybe one cup of tea a day and lots and lots of water in between and i've realized that when i don't drink water i don't have a lot of milk so try and drink lots of water don't stress a lot stress is the biggest killer for breast milk just let it go and let it flow and just drink your liquids and i hope 
you should be fine if you don't try and get those lactation cookies mrs milk makes some and there's mama nursing or something both on instagram they sell those cookies so try and get those and see if they can help if you are struggling with your supply but honestly your biggest friend should be water because remember your body needs liquid to make the milk so 3 to 5 right it's baby surprise the poor girl the suspense is killing us already addressed that one Sepsons writes will you be getting help when baby surprise comes home um a nanny yes and no no to the nanny part because we're not necessarily going to be getting somebody to help us with the babies yes in a sense that we have somebody who is helping us keep the house clean after i had the c-section the emergency c-section it made me realize that we have gotten to a point where we're not going to be able to do this on our own and getting a helper to come help with the cleaning being one of those lotus underscore libra writes when baby surprise is home are you going to do a gender reveal similar to peanuts one i am going to do a gender reveal i don't know if i'm going to do it when baby surprise comes home or before Four. I don't think it's gonna be similar to Peanuts one. Honestly, I don't know at this point. I haven't thought about it, but we'll see. Selma dot Matambo writes, "Hey bestie, what caused baby surprise to be born earlier than due date? Any medical reason why? There's honestly no medical reason why. It just happened out of the blue. For all we know, baby was just not happy with something. We don't know what it was, but baby was just not having it." Mshamba underscore Valentine writes, "How are you and hubby though? Keeping your baby in my prayers. Thank you so much. I think we're doing good. To be honest." Me and Dizzy process feelings very differently, also at very different levels. But yeah, we are doing okay. We are good. Hella Riot, I think that's how you pronounce his name. She writes, how are you preparing family for the outbreak of coronavirus? Oh yeah, this one is a bit of a very touchy subject, especially because every time we bring up the coronavirus, Kiva Zamani just freaks out. We've had to call it COVID-19 at this point in this house. However, I tried to dumb it down as much as I possibly can. Like I literally told her what could happen with the coronavirus and what we need to do so that we can avoid getting the coronavirus and since that day she's sort of like relaxed about it and she's not freaking out she tries to wash her hands as hard as she possibly can honestly preparing wise i've seen people buy so much toilet paper guys does the coronavirus give you a runny tummy because honestly i feel like we are missing something because i went to our checkers our local checkers here and there was no toilet paper and we needed toilet paper like we were done we we had no toilet paper we went and we got food we got honestly the essentials we need to basically just keep afloat and keep alive and be as safe as we possibly can we're not keeping anything a secret we are answering any question that kb has we are not necessarily in panic mode because i feel like panicking just makes you make bad decisions we're trying to take it one day at a time we're trying to keep informed as we possibly can we have checked with our medical aides to make sure that it should ish has the fan we are good we have gotten the numbers to call in case we suspect one of us has contacted the virus i'm a little bit worried about the whole situation purely because baby surprise is still in hospital it's the safest place for baby to be at at this point don't get me wrong however i would be so much more comfortable if we're all home and we never have to leave and go anywhere but the fact that we have to make up and down trips from home to the hospital kind of bugs me we don't have anybody here to help us or to stay home with the kids like peanut and k-bear while we go to the hospital we have to basically bring them with but daisy stays with them in the car and i go in to go check up on baby surprise and then re-swap because kids are not allowed into the NICU she writes i'm expecting my first baby and i'm overseas and with lockdowns my mom won't, won't be able to come help any tips follow your instinct follow your gut and remember that your baby is human things that you would do as yourself try and think what would be appropriate for the baby and try that don't stress yourself about oh my gosh i'm gonna spoil my baby or oh my gosh this is even good whenever you can get a chance call your mom and talk to her again advice ask for help when you need help people don't necessarily have to come to your house because this coronavirus could be potentially deadly to babies avoid google dr google is not going to be good for you in these cases especially when you have a newborn baby google always tells you the worst case scenario so try by all means to ask for advice especially from your mom your mom wouldn't want to freak you out and remember to relax don't pressurize yourself into doing things the way that people said you should do it your way stop it underscore non do me so right how do you keep positive bestie even with baby surprise being in hospital I think I already answered this. If I have no control over the situation, there is no need for me to keep stressing about it. Honestly, it does me more harm than it does good. And so I just let it go. I trust the professionals. I trust the people to do what they're supposed to do. It doesn't mean I'm being ignorant. Like, don't get me wrong. I still get to the hospital and I ask like a billion and one questions. But I try and let them do what they can do. And I do what I can do given the situation. All right, I'm going to answer. Oh my gosh. There's so many questions still. Lee Ray underscore Mutupi 
writes what's your favorite song at this point right now it's promises by kelvin harris and sam smith i am jamming to that song yankee d writes how does dizzy feel about you vlogging or rather letting people in your life for the longest time dizzy was not necessarily into vlogging into anything that is done online but he respects the fact that this is what i like to do i don't necessarily let you guys into our lives what you see on the vlogs is a tiny portion of our lives the fact that i try and draw the lines and keep the boundaries when it comes to especially our relationship and our household in general he respects that i don't want for people to think they all of a sudden have an opinion on our relationship or an opinion on how we run our household and so those are the things that i don't show on social media however my parenting journey my motherhood journey that i feel i can also share my experience and people can share the experience with me and so we can both learn from each other and that's the bit that i vlog he doesn't necessarily object to it right now i uh, you guys have seen him here and there on the vlogs he's becoming more comfortable with being on the vlogs he used to never want to be a part of it before i would even film him or film when i'm around him because i knew it would be difficult for me to edit him out of the vlog but now he's getting more comfortable with it but he doesn't necessarily still want to be all in and i respect that thank you so much you guys for sending through your questions i hope this was not too too long thumbs up if you watched this far don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and until then we'll see you besties on our next video bye besties tonight we're running on the right track